Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a bike short styling video. So this trend I've been hmming and hawing for a while now, but I think I've landed on the side of loving it. Main reasons why I was hmming and hawing was because I'm not like the biggest fan of like super spandexy and tight pieces as you know, so I wasn't sure if I was going to be loving it. But I have realized if I get like a high waisted one and stick with kind of darker colors, then I feel more comfortable with it. So I'm going to be walking you through outfits that have made me feel comfortable wearing bike shorts. I do quickly want to talk about these pieces that I'm wearing because I always get questions on my jewelry. So part of this video will be sponsored by Ana Luisa. As you know, I work with them every other month to try some of their new jewelry. So this month I've tried out some of their hoop earrings. So this is like more of like a statement piece. These are definitely one of the bigger hoops I own, but they are hollow. So they're really, really comfortable and light. They're not pulling my earring down. They are a stud though, as you can see. So if you do prefer studs, that's what the back looks like. It's not a full hoop. So this BU piece I've had for a couple months now, but I still wear it all the time because it's a perfect layering piece. This guy is actually new and I feel like you guys are gonna be obsessed too because I love it so much. It's basically a moon with a little star or is it like a baby sun? I don't know. But it's like a little medallion that I think is really great for like any type of necklace party because it has like three different lengths. So this is in its like middle length. You can have longer or a little bit shorter. I also got this little guy which comes with like a thicker chain and it has like a little toggle on the bottom. So I always like to mix up like pendant shapes as you can see. Not I don't like wanna have them all be medallion shapes, circle shapes, you know? And and this guy came with a necklace set. It's like a little horn necklace, plus the chain is completely different than the other ones, so it adds extra depth to it. As usual, I do have an Ana Luisa discount code, so make sure to check the links down below for the code and for the pieces that I'm wearing. They are a New York-based company that makes really high quality pieces at affordable prices. So for those of you who are starting out your jewelry collection, I think that they're a great place to shop. Plus they have amazing jewelry designers that have designed for Gucci and LV, so can't really hurt trying out something designs because they've designed some of the biggest design houses in the world. So the shorts that I'm wearing right now are the Aretzia Atmosphere ones. I believe they're seven inch. I've had these for about a year now so I don't really remember which one but I think nine inch is closer to my knee from recollection. These ones I really love because they are high waisted so not only does it make you look longer it's actually more comfortable at least for me feels like it's hugging me in versus like cutting me off right here. So this look that I'm starting off with is like the basic layer. Everything else is going to be layered on top of that. Perfect for a hot summer day, hot summer walk, picnic, wherever you want to go that's a little bit more active. That's what I love about bike shorts. It's they can look really fashionable but they're actually really functional as well. So I just paired them with low tops. For me, I find with my leg shape and my body shape, high tops would just cut me off in the wrong place and make my legs look really short. I think it looks great on some people that have like the height to sort of support it, but for me I prefer having low tops if not slides on, which you'll see for the rest of the outfits. The tank that I chose is a rib tank. I went with a different texture from the spandex shorts just to give the body a little bit more depth. So it's not just like you're wearing a onesie spandex like suit. Now we're gonna move into other outfits. This look features a button up shirt. This one's from Everlane. Got it oversized so that it would work with pants like this. So I'm wearing a size six in this one. It's just very flowy, a neutral color. So it works with jeans or with black spandex shorts like this. If you have lighter ones, I think it will work too. Usually I like to wear it just as like a cardigan thing almost. You can even walk around with it down your shoulders if you need a little bit more of a breeze, but you still have this kind of like fabric around your hip butt area that I like to usually just cover up. I'm a little bit more modest that way, I guess. The other option is also just buttoning it up. So just having it as a button up, sleeves pulled up, just very casual, get a little bit of that like 90s feeling to it. You can even tie it up like that if you like to have a little bit more of a higher waist and you feel comfortable showing your butt out a little bit, this would be a great look as well. So I put on a dressier jacket. This is from Aritzia. It's like their flowy blouse jacket in a cream color. I'm sticking with neutrals here. My summer theme is pretty like creams and beiges and white still, but it does look a lot different than just a plain button up because of like the thicker material. It is still breezy, but from the weight of it, from what, how you can see it hanging, it is a more substantial fabric. Aritzia does a great job carrying fabrics like this. 
and I think it looks great with these Western inspired shoes. I swapped it out from the sneakers because I wanted this look to be a little bit more elevated, a little bit more dressed up. This is another buttoned up look that I really like. So this is a different buttoned up than the other two that I showed you. We're going to like pretty minute detail in terms of shirt shapes now. This one's like a bat wing button up so it almost looks like a really wide cut mini dress and that's why I like this one when it's buttoned all the way up. It gives a different vibe. I feel like this is a little bit more like an art student, art teacher kind of vibe. Changed it to some like slide sandals because it's so covered up on top. I wanted the bottoms to look really summery. So one of my staples for spring and summer are usually like some sort of cropped utility jacket. This one is from Aritzia. It's from one of my Aritzia. Hauls. I believe they still have it. It's from TNA. Got a size small. I tend to have smaller, narrower shoulders than my hips, so I go for bigger jackets usually on top. All right, I thought I'd show you a dressed up version of a bike short outfit. So I chose the oversized vest that you've probably seen in a couple videos now from Zara. And I think it's so versatile because it's basically like a mini dress. I pulled the shorts down enough so that you could see it when it's buttoned up like this and then I paired it with some silvery heels because there's like a little bit of silver in the vest if you like get like that in the back then it's basically like a little mini dress and even if it's a mini dress I'd wear my shorts underneath anyways because you do not want any wardrobe malfunctions so if I pull it back down so with it unbuttoned and with bike shorts tank and heels. I love that mixture of like super casual pieces with dressed up pieces. Like that is like the kind of style that I always strive for when I do go to like a dressed up event. And with sneakers, it's a fun outfit too. Just wanted to give you some options so that you can see that biker shorts can also be dressed up. So it's actually been a while since I've styled a leather jacket. I think I overwore it too much that I kind of needed a break. But now that I'm putting it back on, I definitely know where my obsession came from. This is just a plain black moto. If I had an owned one, I would prefer like an oversized leather jacket that isn't as fitted up here and kind of slopes down to cover my butt. So a step not too far from a leather jacket is an oversized black denim jacket. For me, denim's a little bit easier to wear in the summer, a little bit less sticky and a little bit more malleable. Plus I have this one in like a super oversized size, so probably would wear this one a little bit more. This one is from Everlane. This is a size large and that's why it fits like this on me. A little basically covering the butt, which is an important feature. Light, please come back. I don't know what's happening to the light right now. It's like right outside, but the camera is not catching it. Very casual outfit, effortless. It's like a vintage vibe denim jacket. You can definitely find a vintage denim jacket if you want to as well. They always just look a little bit cooler when you find a good vintage piece. And I chose weaved slides to go with this, just so that you can see what bike shorts might look with the slides. And of course, I can't really go through a style video without showing you what it would look like with blazers. So this is your classic blazer shape that's a little bit oversized. This is the linen Everlane blazer in a size six. I love this like gray Eastony color and because of the more like masculine tailoring for the shape, it goes straight down and doesn't hug my hips. I really like that for a bike short look. So an oversized linen blazer that still fits well and is like made for a female body, I think is a really great summer essential piece. As you've seen probably throughout multiple style videos now, it goes with a lot of trends and goes with a lot of outfits that I like to wear in the spring and summer. But obviously if it's like hotter out or if you're going for a more casual, effortless look, then you just leave it unbuttoned. You can see the bike shorts underneath. I paired it with the Western inspired shoes because I thought that the colors match really great together. So this outfit I'd say is like a level up on the dress up scale from the cream jacket, the cream blousey jacket that you saw from Aritzia because the linen blazer actually has like a structured shape to it. All right, so this is the oversized Wilfred linen blazer that, or linen mix actually, that you would have seen on my Instagram stories. A lot of you guys were like really excited about it and I'm pretty sure it's on sale right now for the clientele sale. It will probably go on sale more like for everyone in the next week or so. I am wearing a size small, so I wouldn't go up in size for this one because this is my true size and it is quite oversized. Like I roll the sleeves up or push the sleeves up without it. It looks like that. 
I chose to keep it with some really casual sandals because I like how dressy this jacket is, but when it's undone and not belted, it's got a really casual, almost like robe-like feeling to it. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with heels now, but I think it looks really cute like this too. This is what it looks like when it's belted, and this is what the blazer looks like with heels. I think it looks so cute. The shape of the blazer is just perfect. I can't say enough about this one because it doesn't have like a typical shoulder pad and like shoulder shape. It drapes perfectly. So bike shorts look really cute with a trench coat too because it's so long and flowy usually. Depends on, I mean, what kind of trench coat you have, but most of them are flowy and long and I think it plays really well with the proportions because the bike shorts are so short, but it's like hugging your body. So you're not like feeling extra frumpy with extra fabric over you. I think it looks really cute like this. So by putting the sweater underneath, the jacket. I think it looks a little bit more put together. You have that extra layer of texture giving more depth to the outfit and I think it would be perfect for those like chillier spring mornings and maybe even in summer if you get like colder weather. But also the bike shorts look really cute with just the sweater. I just tucked it in a little bit to the waistband and let it flow out like this. Super cozy. I, I love the look of like a cozy sweater with shorts. I wish I lived in LA or something like that where the weather is like mild enough that you can pull that off. <laughs> like you get like maybe a handful of days like that in Canada. This is what it looks like when it's untucked. This isn't like a necessarily oversized sweater. I'd say this is one of my more like regular fitting sweaters, but it is looser and hangs. So I would just make sure whatever sweater you choose hangs and flows a little bit. And of course has a little bit more texture in it. So it looks more interesting against the spandex shorts. So this is a newer sweater that I got from Zara. It's like a super oversized Henley sweater. I just wanted to show you this one versus the sweater you just saw because this is what I would call an oversized sweater, one that hangs almost like a dress or something that you borrowed from someone much bigger than you. It looks super cozy. This is something very, very casual. And then if you want to still wear it in the summer because like there's AC or if you're gonna be out all day into the night when it gets colder, Something that's super oversized looks cuter when it's like draped over the shoulders because it has more fabric to do so. And here are two of the spring summer biggest trends probably together, the muscle padded tee and bike shorts. I think it looks really cute. I tucked it into the bike shorts because this particular shirt doesn't really fall over the bike shorts nicely enough. It's not like an oversized oversized shirt. It like gets tight around the hip and butt area. I think it looks really cute tucked in just because you have like the strong shoulder. You kind of want to show that you have a little bit of a waist and then the bike shorts just go down really cleanly. So I paired a really relaxed denim jacket over the muscle tee. So this is the Everlane tour jacket in denim. So you can kind of see that the shoulder pads do show up just a little bit. I made sure to line them up. So it almost looks like the jacket has a little bit more structure to it than really, because this one's a really relaxed jacket. I chose this denim jacket style because you saw what it would look like with your typical denim jacket shape in the black. So this is what like a tour jacket would look like. And as an alternative, if you don't have a jean jacket or don't want to wear something that heavy, a jean denim shirt always works too. I decided to pair this outfit with the ring bone like western inspired shoes just because I think it matches the western inspired denim top. So now we're moving into t-shirts, t-shirt dresses. I love them with bike shorts because they tend to be on the shorter end so I feel more comfortable wearing shorts underneath and I like it when the shorts actually pop out because I think it gives it a sportier vibe. I decided to keep these shoes on because I want to show you how it looks like a little bit more elevated than if I just wore slides and sneakers because that's like your kind of go-to sporty athleisure vibe when it comes to like t-shirt dresses like this. When it comes to a longer shirt over bike shorts, I try to stay away from crop jackets. If you do a crop jacket, it might cut off the dress in weird places and make it wrinkle weird. So just up to you how you feel comfortable. I don't think it's the most flattering way to wear a long t-shirt dress. I think these kind of shirts actually work better with, let's say a blazer like this, because they are almost like the same length. There's nothing cutting you off. It's a seamless line from top to bottom. It's just more flattering for a lot of figures. So that's just something to keep in mind when you are dressing up a t-shirt dress with a jacket over top. Something that's similar length can be a lot more flattering for your body. 
And then last but not least, this is an outfit that I've been wearing multiple times already because it's just so comfortable, so easy, similar to the white tee. But this is a vintage inspired t-shirt dress from Urban Outfitters. It is meant to be a t-shirt dress, which is why it flows like this. But you can easily just get like an extra large vintage tee from your favorite thrift store and it could be something similar. If it does end up being a little bit too tight around the hip, you can always kind of like twist it and tuck it in and have it be more of like a cropped shirt get into the side like this i still do it with this shirt just like on those days where i feel like the shirt itself is a little bit too frumpy and i want to see my body shape a little bit that's a great way to wear it too and that's a wrap i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that these looks inspire you to try out this biker short trend i totally get it if you're not into it, it took me a while to really get into it as well and just wore bike shorts around the house and realized how comfortable they were and then started to play with some outfits that made me feel confident in these shorts so hopefully this just helps you like kind of try it out at home and maybe eventually wear it out so let me know if you have any questions down below i will be linking the anna luisa pieces as well along with the discount code so make sure to check that out like the video if you liked it subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i will see you next time